post time for the opener and the gate is moving. Bases are on the turn. Field for the opener behind the gate. Here they come. There are. There goes Karachi Hanover leaving. Rock on Lou on the inside. And there goes Mach 2N rushing on up there on the outside third. Then on the inside, Trevor 1 gets away fourth with Nui Baden in the early trailer. Is I will make you say wow. So they move down the backstretch to the quarter. And there goes Jim Taggart and Mach 2N on the outside up for the early late. Karachi Hanover is second. But now Mike Merton pulls Karachi Hanover out of the 2 hole. So they go by the quarter, 20. Eight and one at the panic turn the first time. And it's Karachi Hanover now in front over Mach 2 and second, then Rock on Lou third. Trevor one is racing fourth, a gap at two lanes back to I will make you say wow as they leave the three eights and head their way over to the half. And it's still Karachi Hanover over Mach 2 and second. There goes Rock on Lou. Beginning to hustle up now, first over on the outside, already moving into second, and they're by the half mile, 57 and four, 29 and three quarters, so there's three in and three out, moving around the clubhouse turn, with Karachi Hanover in front, Rock on Lou, parked on the outside, pocket trip, Mach 2N, second over journey there for the favorite, Nui Baden on the outside, with Trevor One, and I will make you say wow, so they move down the back stretch, on the inside, Karachi Hanover outside, Rock on Lou are head and head for the lead. Three quarters in one twenty. D6 and 1. Moving around the final turn. It's still Karachi Hanover over Rock on Lou. Dewey Baden, the favorite, now enjoys the pocket trip. A gap of four. Back to Mach 2 in, and I will make you say, wow, top of the lane here in the opener. And it's still Karachi Hanover in front. And now Corey guiding Dewey Baden to the passing lane. Karachi Hanover still there on the inside. Dewey Baden down to the finish. And the winner goes to Karachi Hanover. Nui Baden was second with Rock on Lou third, the mile 155 and one. She Hanover, 10 year old son of some beat somewhere at a Cahiba Mary by Arts Place. So my Miguel Hernandez, trained by Rob Harmon, driven by Mike Burton. Super 3, 4, 1, and 2, 74, 50. Here's the rundown. One Rock on Lou, third. Two Trevor, and one four. Three Karachi, Hanover. They're on the track for the second race. One is Regal Royal, owned and driven by Alan Schwartz. Number two is Escape to Bullville, owned by the Gravani Farm with Bruce Aldridge. Number three is Some Lucky Magic, owned by Andrew Adamczyk with Mike Merton. Four is Fair Warning, owned and driven by Shane Darish. Number five is Grateful Attitude, owned by Knowles and Thompson with Kyle DiBenedetto. Number six is Tapestry, owned by Robert Burgess with Frank Calcagney. And number seven is Ace 44 Swan, owned and driven by Frederick Borgault. Paces are on the turn.
Second race field, ready for a start. There are, there goes Some Lucky Magic, who's the first to leave on the outside. There goes Grateful Attitude. Down on the inside comes Regal Royal. Then on the inside, Fair Warning gets away fourth. Parked out there early comes Tapestry to be fifth. Then Escape the Bullville on the inside. Sixth in Ace 44 Swan Trails the field as they move down the back stretch of the quarter. And Mike Merton has the heavy favorite. It is some lucky magic making her Monticello debut as they go by the quarter. 29 seconds flat at the paddock turn the first time. Coming down from Saratoga, it is some lucky magic who leads the way by a life. Pocket trip, Regal Royal is second. On the inside, fair warning third. Tapestry is parked out there on the outside. Fourth would escape the bull bull and grateful attitude. So they come by the stands for the first time. And it is some lucky magic. Magic holding on to the lead by a length. Pocket trip there. Regal Royal second as they go by the half mile. 59 flat 30 quarter. Moving around the clubhouse turn. Some lucky magic holding on to that advantage. Regal Royal right there in close pursuit from the two hole on the inside. Fair warning. Tapestry has been parked every step of the mile. They're running outside. Fourth coming from last. Ace 44 Swan will pick up that cover of Tapestry. Then on the inside it's escaped the Bullville. Great Grateful attitude as they arrive at the three quarters, and they're at that beam here in one twenty-eight and four, twenty-nine and four quarter, moving around the final turn. And Mike Merton and some lucky magic now begins to open up here on Regal Royal. Then on the inside, fair warning. Then it's tapestry. Then Ace Forty Four Swan on the far outside, but they're at the top of the stretch, and it's all some lucky magic opening up on the rest of the field, and some lucky magic. Magic, and she is a maiden no more. Tapestry has moved into second over a fast closing ace 44 swan and escaped the Bullville in 159 and 10. Mike Merton takes today's early daily double. Thirty-two twenty, third post in nine minutes at twelve fifty-six. No changes. It starts to pick five races, three through seven. That's super here. Three six seven two seventy-six fifty. Three minutes. Paces are on the turn. Your third race field, start of the pick five. Here they come. There are. There goes looking fabulous leaving middle of the track. There goes heartthrob kid on the far outside. There goes Renatus. Now sweeping up on the far outside. Now looking to grab the lead. Also parked out early there. General Hopper on the outside is parked fourth. Then Heaven Superstar on the inside fit. Followed by Wiggle It Girl sixth. Then it's Pine Bush Dragon Roll. And the early trailer is Believe in Angels. So approaching the quarter pole here. Mike Merton and the three to five favorite. Renate is up to take the lead. They go by the quarter, 28 and 3 at the panic turn the first time. It is Renatus and Mike Merton already took the double. Leads the way here by a length over Heartthrop Kid second. Then comes looking fabulous Heaven Superstar as they come by the stands for the first time. And it is Renatus on top by a length. Heartthrop Kid in the pocket. Looking fabulous third. General Harper hung out fourth with Heaven Superstar. Then Pinebush Dragon Roll. Believe in Angels and Wiggle It Girl. 58 and 1 
one twenty nine and three split moving around the clubhouse turn and Mike looking for his third win today and it's still Renatus on top over Hot Drop Kid second on the inside looking fabulous third then on the inside Heaven Superstar fourth three wide comes Pine Bush Dragon Roll looking to move around General Hopper then comes Believe in Angels way back and out of it Wiggle It Girl three quarters one twenty eight and three thirty and two quarter moving around the final turn it's still Renatus in front Hot Drop Kid we have a breaker there off stride Pine Bush Dragon Roll so right now it's between Renatus and out of the two all comes Heartthrob Kid and they're at the top of the stretch on the inside the favorite Renatus here's Heartthrob Kid and Jim Tagger now comes on to take the lead closing down at the passing lane comes looking fabulous but it's going to go to your Heartthrob Kid and Jim Tagger beating out looking fabulous in 159 and 3. Number four, Hearthrop Kid, the winner over the one looking fabulous. Third went to the second. Jay Shiner, trained by Frank McKay and driven by Jim Taggart. Minutes at 116. No changes in the upcoming fourth. Pick three, 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 and four, 125, 50. Super, four, one, six, three, $3,370 even.